stay with us all day today. Uh, until then, I'm Heather Healy live in Temple Chardet. Back to you. Again, thank you, Heather, for being out there this morning and please stay safe. But um, Josh, some of the videos and pictures that we were just showing you and even where Heather is standing, which is in front of one of the hotels in Temple, you can just see how powerful those winds were. I want to note, too, that people are commenting on our Facebook and wondering why we're saying possible tornado, but kind of give them um, an insight on why we haven't said it was a confirmed tornado yet. Yeah, it's not going to be official till the National Weather Service goes out and completes their survey and comes up with a rating for this tornado. But uh, it, and I say this tornado because as a meteorologist, we were able to look at some of the data. We were able to see it in the pictures you sent us. It's just not official yet for the National Weather Service. Once it's official, we'll call it a confirmed tornado. But in this case, it does appear that a tornado may have hit the west side of Temple and maybe even further than that. Again, we're waiting on that official word from the National Weather Service, which comes in the next few days. I want to take you back to yesterday and show you how this all transpired. You can see those thunderstorms that blew up to the west and this was supercell thunderstorms. You've heard us say that all spring. These are the ones that are the mean ones. Look at all the lightning that moved with this. It was just one supercell thunderstorm that caused this. There was a whole complex, but within it we have one little piece that really started to spin as it got to the northwest side of Temple. You can see that hook right there on the radar replay. That's what brought all the damage, including that possible tornado on the west side of Temple and wind damage at any of those orange circles. Now we look at composite radar when we're talking about analyzing things in the past, but when we're really tracking it, we look at the high resolution radar and here's why. This is the radar coming out of Granger, which is in Williamson County, looking up into Bell County. You can see the twist in the storm here and right here near Adams and Kegley. That is a debris ball where we're seeing the radar pick up on debris as that potential tornado may have been on the ground. You can see the twist continuing to move across the southern side of Temple that brought the very high winds and eventually moved into the Oscar area. We were out in the storm wrangler. We saw power flashes on the west side of Temple. And then as we got over here towards Oscar, that's where we saw a mobile home that was completely decimated there between Seton and Zobchikville. Now, as we look at the winds, this is another way that we track things. And this is important because even though we can't see the circulation as well, Look at the back side here, close to 120 mile per hour winds picked up on radar. That is what came on the back side of what would be that tornadic circulation. That's why even if you weren't hit by the potential tornado, you still had high wind damage across a good chunk of Southern Temple and then moving on into Eastern Bell.